Greetings, everybody, and welcome. My name is Christopher Ramo, and I am an environmental educator here at the Greenbelt Nature Center. I'd like to discuss with you today an art form that I think has died over the past few years with the invention of the GPS and cell phones. What I'm talking about are compasses. Now, luckily in the Greenbelt, we have a lot of freshly painted trail markers here on the trees that you can easily find your way throughout our 2,800 acres. Not every park is like that. How do you find your way? What if your phone or GPS battery dies? Well, luckily compasses never use electricity, so these are always here for when you need it. In this video, I'm gonna teach you the parts of a compass, how to orient yourself with one, and how to use it with the map. Before we start our journey with our compass, we need to know the parts of it so that we don't end up in the wrong burrow. So this compass that we have here is called a base plate compass. And the base plate here is clear, so when you place it on the map, you can see what you were looking at underneath it. On the base plate, you have the directional arrow, and this is what you use to find your bearings. When you want to go somewhere, this is the arrow that should be pointing to exactly where you want to be going. Next to the directional arrow, you have rulers. So you have an inch and a millimeter ruler. Depending on what map you use, the map could have either measurement. For example, if you want to find out how long a mile is, it might say one inch. So you would use the, one, the inch ruler and one inch here equals a mile. So if you want to travel three miles, three miles is three inches. In the center of the compass, we have our rotating bezel. You can rotate it and find which cardinal direction you want to find. Cardinal directions being north, east, south, and west. Inside the rotating bezel, you have the magnetic needle housing, which holds the needles for north and south. Depending on the compass that you have, the northern needle can be a certain color. And to find that color, you have to look at the orienteering line inside the rotating bezel. So it rotates with the bezel. And on this particular model, it is red. So red on the needle is north, which means that the white one is south. The last piece I'd like to indicate for you is the index. It is located on the, uh, the rotating bezel and it actually doesn't move with the bezel if you see right there. So you're going to use this line to line up with the directional arrow. So say if I wanted to head north, I would line up north with the index, which means that I'm on line with the, rota uh, with the directional arrow. So now that we know what is on the compass, let's put it to practice. Before using your compass with your map, it's good to practice finding your bearings. And what I mean by that is to find which kernel direction you want to go into. Now, two things to know before using your compass is that you want to keep it flat because it won't work if you hold it up like this. I've seen people make errors where they try to read it upright. You want to keep it flat. The second piece you want to remember is to keep anything magnetic or electronics away from the needle itself. The north red needle is pointing towards magnetic north, so it's going to be messed up if anything magnetic is around it. So now that we got those two, remember we're going to find our bearings. So if you come in closer, you see I have my compass flat and you want to have the directional arrow facing towards where you want to go or the opposite way of you. So say I wanted to find or I want to head towards 330 degrees. You locate 330 degrees on your rotating bezel turn it so it lands on the index because remember that points towards the directional arrow and you want to then have your north magnet or your magnetic north arrow with your orienteering arrow on the base plate so how do we do this we need to rotate the compass but think of the compass as an extension of yourself and you want to turn with the compass so the compass needs to turn left I am going to be turning right, and a phrase we use is called red in the shed. So once you have your needle lining up with your orienteering line, that your red is now in the shed. So now, with the red in the shed, I'm facing 330 degrees. Now before going on your adventure, you always want to have a map 
even if you don't use a compass. As you can see here, we have a map of the green belt, about 2,800 acres. Taking a wrong turn on any trail might get you miles from where you want to go. So say, for example, I wanted to go to Willowbrook Carousel for all children. Right now we are located at the Nature Center. How would I get there? Well, first I'd like to point out the compass on the map here. This shows what direction the park is facing north. So right now, north will be going that way. So I'd have to go about northwest towards the carousel. But how do I know exactly which direction I need to go in? I got my compass. So you want to orient the compass to face the same direction as the compass on the map is. So you place your compass flat on the map and we're not too far off. So we'd actually take the whole map and rotate it. So our red is in the shed. All right, we've oriented the map. We don't have to touch the map anymore. All you have to do is just move the compass. Like I said before, we are located at the nature center. So you take the center of your needles and place it over the nature center right there. And luckily our base plate is clear so we can see exactly where we're placing it. And Willowbrook is towards that way. So that means we have to take our directional arrow and face it towards Willowbrook. So one more step to do, we need to turn our rotating bezel so that our north, or magnetic north needle is with the orienteering line. So that means using the rotating bezel and meeting your red in the shed. Now that that's done, take a look of what degrees is now facing Willowbrook. It's about just under 300 degrees, but that's okay. That's all you need to know about where you're going. And then you can take your compass off. So now when I'm going to go to Willowbrook, all I need to do is just keep my compass flat, pointing in that direction. And now I know where I have to go to find Willowbrook Park. Thank you for sticking around and learning how to use compasses with me. I definitely recommend coming to the Greenbelt and using the 35 miles of trail to practice your compass use one day. It's definitely worth it. If you'd like to view more Greenbelt virtual videos like this one, I'd like you to visit our website at sigreenbelt.org or visit us on YouTube at the Staten Island Greenbelt. Thanks again for watching everyone. I'll see you then.